Welcome, fume heads, to another fragrance review coming at ya straight from the perfume man cave of fun. And today, I'm gonna be sharing with you my thoughts on Dior's Sauvage. Now, this has been a scent that I have worn the most over the past couple of months. And I've been wanting to do this video for quite some time, and in fact, I'm pretty pumped about sharing my thoughts on it. So what do you think I think about this one? Man, there's a lot of talk out there. There's a lot of hate. There's a lot of love. And where do I sit on this one? Well, frankly, I friggin' love this juice. That's right. I'm a damn fan, and I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> so first off, what does this fragrance deliver? Well, this is a fresh scent. Uh, lavender and geranium at the forefront. Lavender giving you the soapy freshness. Slightly powdery, not overly powdery because I would hate that. Done uh, excellent, mixed well. Mixed evenly, blended well with that geranium, this cooling floral. Uh, and, and you hear words like that, lavender and floral, and you're thinking, what, man? How could you possibly love this stuff? Well, I'm telling you, I do, because the way that they do it is freaking fantastic because in there uh, you've got a touch of pepper adding spice and at the top right away you got that bergamot I'm telling you that bergamot in here is glorious oh just mouth watering when they all hit you at front oh man it's freaking awesome too bad the bergamot does not hang on for a while but you know what that's okay because after that leaves you're still left with a Flippin' fantastic fresh scent. Uh, but that bergamot is kind of nice in the beginning. I mean, you splash it on, and it's just like a jolt, an invigorating jolt. Yeah, buddy, let's get the, <laughs> let's get the day going. Uh, fantastic. But then that slips away, and you have that lavender and geranium, uh, a touch of spiciness from the pepper, and you've got a backbone of vetiver and patchouli underneath, giving you uh, a masculine tone, holding up that lavender, and that floral, and flowing through here, and Broxen. So, you have this salty uh, aquatic sea air <sighs> flowing through there as well, and it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. To me, when I read reviews out there and people say that this smells like a chemical mess, or it doesn't smell of quality, I'm just like, I'm just dumbfounded. I'm like, are you flipping nuts? This is fantastic. Fantastic juice. And another thing, for a fresh scent, all day. Eight plus hours, this stuff keeps going. For me, in my head, Dior Sauvage is one of the most ultimate fresh scents you could ever pick up for yourself, for sure. And you hear similarities of this with Bleu de Chanel. Uh, at first I wasn't so sure until I actually started wearing them side by side for quite a number of days. And there definitely is a similarity between them. They're not exactly the same, but if you don't smell a similarity between the freshness of these two scents, I don't know. I think you're nuts because <laughs> there absolutely is a similarity between them. But when you're doing them side by side, it is clear totally clear which is the better scent. Sauvage has this poshness, this extra smoothness that just, oh, it's just no denying that Sauvage is the better scent, for sure. And, and you know me, you know that I'm a fan of Bleu de Chanel. Always have been. Speak very highly of it. It's in a lot of my lists, a lot of my panty dropper lists. So, <laughs> that being said, if I think that highly of Bleu de Chanel, and so do thousands and thousands of men all over the world, over the years, all the feedback I have heard about Bleu de Chanel and all the feedback that I've gotten, that I've got, and how great that scent is, and Sauvage is better, <laughs> what the hell does that say about Sauvage? This stuff is, is pretty close to reaching the holy grail of freshness. I don't know if I'd go that far, but it's pretty damn good, man. So, that being said, obviously, I put this through the test. There are all the women I know in my life, whether that be in my personal life or the ones at work, of course. And what did I find out? This is no BS, my friends, because I don't like bullshit, and this is no bullshit. 
out of all of the people that I have asked, what do they like better, Sauvage or Bleu de Chanel? And there was only one person, one, that chose Bleu de Chanel. Most people thought, of course, they're both fantastic. I'm not here to rip on Bleu de Chanel because Bleu de Chanel is a fantastic scent. I'm just saying, holy smokes, Sauvage even one-ups that. Man, boy, and if you haven't done a side-by-side, -side, I strongly suggest that you do, because boy, does that really bring out the quality of Sauvage. When you're smelling it, you're like, damn, there is the smoothness that's just undeniable, man. It's so, it just screams of quality to me. That's why when I read reviews out there and I see that, <laughs> people saying that it's quality in a chemical mess, I'm just like, I don't know what the hell they're smoking. Crack smokers, I tell ya. <laughs> and as far as Johnny Depp being the face of this scent, when I first saw that, before I even smelt it, I was super pumped, man, because I am a huge Johnny Depp fan. So I'm like, yeah, couldn't wait to get my nose on this. And at first, I was confused. You know, if there are folks out there reviewing this stuff, off of the first take, off of the first smell, you're in a department store, store, you sniff it, you put it on, you wear it, you go home, you review the stuff. Don't do that. That's not <laughs> the way to do it. You gotta experience the stuff, man. And for those of you that think Johnny Depp is not the right face for this scent, or Sauvage is not the right name, actually, you know, people pick on that. Savage, what's savage about this scent? Well, I gotta tell you, we're living in a different world, a modern world, where we are. We're all still savages out here, man, but we're savages in a concrete jungle. And what better face to fit a savage, a modern savage of a concrete jungle than Johnny Depp, man? Frickin' brilliant. I love it. <laughs> So, uh, I think that is it. That's my thoughts on Dior's Sauvage. Let me know what you think. I can't wait to hear what you all think. Uh, but that's it. You guys take care, and I'll see you soon.